again. I'm back. And Tina is here. It's good to see you guys again. How are you doing and how's your week been? I you mean, how's your week been? Yeah, it was actually really good. Yesterday was perfect. That best day ever. It's been good a good year so far. A very good year so far. That's good to know. And you out there, how are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful time. It is and another safe. time. Yeah, yeah, and you're keeping safe. So it is another time that we have come to worship together. We have yeah. come to fellowship together. And uh -huh. we have come to learn together. And I and Uncle Laomi again would be throwing some light into God's word. And I am very, very sure that there is one thing that you're going to pick on that would be um, of great benefit to you. Oh, so, yes. so guys, we're starting a new series. You know, we did the creation story for like four or five weeks and we're starting something new. Today, guys, they're going to take us again for another four weeks. Four weeks, yeah. So, this particular series is God. God protects us from harm and gives us courage. It's long. God protects us. Who? All, All of, us of us. From harm. And what do you mean by harm? Well, That's like bad, bad stuff. Things, from yeah, bad things. Bad. And he gives us what? Courage. Courage is like confidence. <laughs> So guys, we're jumping right into it. And this particular series is going to have us reading from the book of Genesis chapter 6. That's 6. Remember, Genesis is the third book in the Bible. Mm -hmm. That's the Old Testament. Book of Genesis chapter 6 to chapter 8. So yeah, three chapters, guys. That's 6, seven, 7, and, and eight. 8. So I'm going to start from chapter 6. On your own, guys, I want you to read everything. But we're just going to... Like summarizing for you. So first we're going to read Genesis chapter 6, verse 1 to 10. And then we'll just take it like that. So, over to you. Alright, so I'm going to be reading the book of Genesis chapter 6 from 1 and 2, 10. So now, while we're doing this, bring on your Bible too. Alright, I'll start reading. The Corruption of Mankind. Chapter 1. Now it happened... When men began to multiply on the surface of the earth, and daughters were born to them, that sons of men saw that daughters of men were beautiful and desirable, and they took wives for themselves, whomever the chosen desire. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive and remain with man forever, because it is indeed flesh which is sinful. Corrupt giving over the sexual appetite. Heal. Nevertheless, is this shall yet be a hundred and twenty years. Wow. Man living for a hundred yeah, and twenty years. That sounds weird, yeah? Yeah, very weird. Okay. There were nymphlings, men of stature, notorious men, big and giant men on earth in those days. And also afterwards, when the Son of, of God lived with the daughters of men and they gave birth to their children, these were mighty men who were old, men renowned, men of great reputation, men of fame and all that. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in this earth. Aww. And that's every imagination or instinct of the top of his mind. Or of his heart with evil. evil, like continual evil. The Lord regretted that he had made man in his own kind and put them here on earth. And he was grieved. He was, you know, he was pained he to see what his, it was, he was so pained to see what men were doing. They were commit, committing all sorts of atrocities that time. So the Lord said, I will destroy mankind. Them I have created from the surface of this earth. Hmm. Not only man, but animals too, and the crawling things and birds of the earth and everything, because they grieve me deeply, and I regret that I have made them. Oh. But Noah found favor and grace in the eyes of the Lord. Oh, yeah. These are the records of his generation. That is of Noah's generation. Noah was a righteous man. One womb was just 
and had a right standing with God. He was blameless without evil in this generation. Noah walked with God and Noah became the father of three sons, Shem, Am, and Jephthah. So you see that story. So that's like the backstory, guys. As you can see, it started from the fact that a lot of things are going on on earth. Now, the time of Noah is after the time of Adam and Eve, after the time of Abraham. Mm, yeah. Abraham, yes. So the time of Noah, by this time, a lot of things were happening. And did you see some fun facts there? They were talking about giants. giants they were talking about human beings more 20 years. years. I mean, have you ever seen a giant? No, I have I think the no. tallest person I know is like 6'4". But that means the giant is like nine feet. That's big. very big. Mm -hmm. And then people living to 120 years. Wow. That's very old. So during this time, there were so many people doing all sorts of things. People were just doing evil things. We're just doing so many bad things. Like you just imagine if you have people that, oh no, just imagine if, okay, like the way you buy stuff at home and then you expect that your TV is supposed to come on or you press it. And the fridge is supposed to be cooling stuff. And then you get them and find out they are not doing what they are supposed to do. And those are the reasons why you bought them. Mm -hmm. So it was like God just realized that men were not doing the right thing. Men, women, they were just doing everything wrong. And he broke his heart. Like because God, you remember, was really broken. Yeah, really broken. He you was remember so from the creation pain. story, God said, he made all these things, mm -hmm. but he made man. He made you and me in his own image. So for him, for God, it's like, we are supposed to be like him because we are made to be like him. We are made to dominate. We are made to create. And here, all these people were just, you know, like we'll just do whatever we want. And he wanted us. He wanted us to take charge of everything yeah. that he has So he placed us in charge of the whole earth. And then these guys are saying, hey, it doesn't really matter. Do we really we care? Yeah. Let's just do what we want. Living you know. you know, our best lives. We have food. Yeah. We have plants. We have everything. So they just they the went life. away from God and felt like, yeah, we don't need. Him mm -hmm. and God was heartbroken, and for the first time ever, he regretted creating man. <sighs> like that's big. Imagine that type of regret. He regretted creating man, and for him, he's like, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm done. I'm done with you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to destroy everything, man animals everything because you know the truth is god created it like you build your own house and you decide i don't like this house anymore i'm tired of, I'm tired it. of it i'm just going to break it yeah or i don't want all my clothes i'm going yeah I'm just them and, and, do and do something new so god can't do that because he's the almighty he did everything i mean he put everything out there mm -hmm. he can take it back so he was going to destroy. scatter and destroy everything but then god found, found someone, someone and that is the someone. first thing we would be reading more about, about. today so he found Noah. I mean, he found this guy. Out of all the bad people, there was one guy who, for some reason, this guy was good. Yeah, he was doing the right thing. He had his family. Mm -hmm. He was humble. He had three sons. Three sons. He was doing all the right things. So I mean, at that point, God was thinking, huh, maybe there's hope here. Maybe just, maybe there's hope here. So if you read more into it, guys, if you read beyond verse 10, like we said, you find out that what did God tell Noah when he found out that? Okay, this guy probably doesn't deserve the punishment that the rest of them deserve. So what did he start doing? What, what was God thinking? I think that is what you're going to do for us. You're just going to read deep a bit inside so that yeah. we can know what God did okay. and what happened to Noah. We'll think, oh, maybe God destroyed Noah with the rest of them. I really don't know the story, but let's read so we'll know the story. Let's find out more. So, let me pick up from verse 11. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and was full of violence. God saw how corrupt the earth had become for all the people on earth and corrupted their ways. So God said to Noah, he was talking to Noah, remember, Noah is the one person that God was like, okay, I think I can still talk to this guy. This guy is still my friend. I am going to put an end to all the people. Hmm. For the earth is filled with violence because of them. Yep. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourself an ark of cypress wood. Not just any wood. God was specific. About cypress wood. wood. Yeah. So God told him, make an ark. What is an ark? Let's see. Make an ark of cypress wood. Make rooms in it and coat it with 
page inside and out. Mm. Mm. So make yourself a, okay, inside and out. This is how you are to build it. The art, the arc is to be 450 feet long, guys. Wow, you can that's check that out. That very long. Very, very long. So you can check that on your own. 75 feet wide and 45 feet high. Wow. Remember I was talking about giants being like nine, nine feet, feet high. Mm -hmm. Now imagine I am like I'm under six foot. Now if you're standing with someone that is like six foot, you're so looking you're up like, like this. This now way. nine feet, you're looking up like this. <laughs> yeah. Forty-five feet, like, wow! This is massive. Yeah, guys, imagine how big those buildings are. Those buildings that like, stand out there, like, oh my! Or oh, all those big ships. Now God wanted Noah to build an ark that was forty-five feet high. Now that's, that's like really this cute boat. So something like this, but forty-five feet high. So an ark that's forty-five feet high. Make a roof for it and finish the arc to within 18 inches of the top. Hmm. Put the door in the side of the arc. I mean, the door to go in and go out. Go out. And make lower, middle, and upper deck. So the arc is not just open space. There's it's like, you know, middle. there are some houses that have, or well, there's a house, like maybe like a mall or an office, there's like a ground floor. Yeah, Some even have a basement. Yeah, so have and there's first, first floor. So that was what God was trying to do here. I am going to bring flood waters on the earth. Wow. And I think, see, guys, right there is the first indication that God is letting you know how we're wow. going to destroy the earth. Because mm -hmm. it's like building an ark. And I'm sure when Noah was listening to this, he must have been like, okay, we're building an ark. Why should I build an ark? Uh, does it have tires? <laughs> like, where's the ark going to be? Flood waters on the earth to destroy all the life under the heavens. So everything under God or the earth will be gone. Every creature that has the breath of life in it. Wow. Everything on earth will perish. But I will establish my covenant. Now, this is the first time I hear something about covenants. I will establish my covenant with you. With who? With Noah. Exactly. With Noah. And you will enter the ark, you and your sons and your wife and your sons' sons wives with, with, you. The, with you. You are to bring into the ark two of every living creature. So guys, mm -hmm. that's two of every living. Two yeah. lions, two, two tigers, of two, two of everything. And it has to be a male, male and, and a female. female. Two of every living, male and female, to keep them alive with you. Two of every kind of bird, two of every kind of animal, every kind of creature that moves around the ground will come to you and be kept alive. You have to take every kind of food that is to be eaten and store it away as food for you for them. So guys, take the bread, take the meat, pasta. take the seafood, pasta, everything. Take you know the I mean? meats. I'm sure maybe it wasn't pasta then, but I mean right now, imagine something like that. Take, take the, the pancakes, take everything you need. Take your pizza, your the shawarma, peanut butter, and everything. all that you need. Because it's going to be a while. And, oh, and not just your own food. The food for so the animals. For everyone. Yes. Both yourself, your so family, and the animals. Noah did everything just as God commanded him. So that was from verse 11 to 22. Now, I think we've, we've picked out God was upset. He had decided this is what I'm going to do. He wanted to destroy. Then, it thought one, he found out that, okay, no, this guy in Noah, like, I have a friend who's okay and he yes. doesn't deserve to be destroy it and his wife is okay his Children. three sons are okay their wives are okay you know what and by this time god and, i mean we already realized that unlike when god started that the way he created adam and eve he did it like everything on his own now from after adam and eve god set the process of reproduction where men can create more people, more people. so he's like i have no one here i have his wife they have kids, three sons, who have maybe three wives. Hey! They can reach Perfect. So, the rest of the world will start from them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll destroy everything. But then, these pure people that are good will just do that. But then you also realize, hmm, the men are the bad ones. I mean, my animals don't really have to suffer. I mean, what did the animals do? I mean, what did the little donkeys do? And, and, and you know what? I think because Noah... Yes. Is a man yeah. that was after God's ass. So at that point, God knew that Noah would know 
um, the animals yeah. that were good. Yeah, because know. because some animals actually died. Yeah. So he only had to pick. He had to pick from the animals that were obeyed him and followed him. Exactly. Because I am yes. sure some animals. God had gone through to him. all this stress back then, mm -hmm. creating all of this. Yes, he can just destroy everything and create it again. But I mean, it's like you know, just pick two animals. Pick a male and, and a female. female. And guys, we're talking about every animal. Hawk, falcons, everything. everything. And everything, see, anything you can try as an animal, they were all there. And if you notice, that's why God said, build the ark in layers, not just an open space. It's same way your house is not just an just open no space. Point. There's a kitchen, there's a restroom, there's here, there's there. Build it in different layers. And I feel like every layer must have had, okay, this lions animal, here. This for humans, this exactly. for this, and that for that. And then, not just that, I mean, you're going to go on this trip, mm -hmm. be locked up in this place. For a long time. You need to, that's why the ark was divided into different sections. So there were just different sections for everything. You have... These animals here, male and female. Those animals there, male and female. So those everything. Two of everything. Two dogs, two cows, two everything. But then you think, you know, how are these people going to eat? How are all these animals going to eat? Well, don't forget that they yeah. came in with a lot of food. That, yes. that will sustain them for a the period you know, that they will be in the ark. So that means so God also told them, take everything. Mm -hmm. so imagine we are going on an endless road trip. Bring all the food, guys. So all the food for the animals, all the food for, for the humans, everything that they will need on the ark. So, and I think, in a way, now maybe that included plants also. I don't know. Maybe they did include plants, but everything. <laughs> all you can eat. Plants. Yeah. <laughs> it's like going no. for a buffet, guys. All everything you can eat. Everything you can eat. Just so everything. Bring. Just bring everything. So, so yeah, at this everything. point, we know who Noah is. Mm -hmm. We know... It was a God was upset, man. yeah. We know why the ark was built, how big the ark was. Yeah. 45 feet. So high, guys. So we understand that. And that's like the introduction. So we have the introduction of where we're going with this series, guys. We have where we're going. So now we're just on the ark. We're building the ark. And we know the schematics and who is going to be on the ark, who are the passengers on the ark. So... Now, we're just going to end it for today, and we'll be back, right? And we'll be back. Well, we are going to just go and oh, well. come back next week Maybe. and tell you more about the Noah story. Now, this Noah story is such an interesting story that you do is. not want to miss. So, we'll see you next week. In the meantime, be safe. Be safe. Keep we safe. You. We love you and God loves you most. Bye bye. Be good, guys. Ah. Bye. Habib, where do you think you're going? Stay out of my way. I'm going to play football with my friends and there's nothing you can't. Silence! You think this is funny, eh? You can get the deadly coronavirus. The gorilla virus? No, the coronavirus. Do you know what will happen when you do? Do you? Do you? Ha! Huh, what will happen? You will bring the coronavirus home and then infect everyone. Mommy will be sick, no more jollof rice. Ha! Huh? Daddy will be sick, no more going out to see movies. Oh no! Not the movies! No! Even worse, the government will come and take mommy and daddy away. Ah, uh, you're just making it up. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. See for yourself. <laughs> okay, it's real. It's real. What should we do? Hmm, the coronavirus is out there. We should stay at home for now. Always wash our hands with soap and water so we can prevent it from spreading. Boo! <laughs> stay home, stay safe from all of us at Ant Hill Studios.